Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I wanted to walk you through campaigns versus ad groups, what the difference is between them, what they're both used for, uh, essentially how you should go about thinking about these, and really just a good understanding of how your account functions and how it should be functioning for a successful account overall. So to start off, what is a campaign? What is a ad group? And as we can see here, here's a little diagram. We have our account at the top. So this is our actual Google Ads account. And then below this, we have our campaign and then we have our ad groups and essentially the campaign is higher up the campaign holds all of your services and it is a way to organize all your services all your different ads into one nice campaign so you can easily understand what all of your ad groups are doing what they're focused on and really get a good idea of what you're going to be targeting in this specific campaign and as i can show you here in google ads we have a pool installation campaign here and inside of it we have a whole bunch of different ad groups so backyard pool installation fiberglass pools fiberglass pool installation we should change that pool builders pool contractors pool installation and it essentially goes over all the different types of pool installation that a company could offer I, of course there's as a demo account there should be a whole bunch more inside this account uh, but this is a really good overview of what a ad group is compared to a campaign a campaign holds all of it an ad group targets a very specific part of the service so Pool installation, there's a lot of different parts. So you could have fiberglass pools, you could have vinyl pool installation, you could have you know pool builders, custom pool installation. Uh, there's just so many different types and pool installation is a nice overview of this and it is a specific service, but there's a lot of different ones. And for all the different types of them, we put them in separate ad groups and make it nice and easy to organize. And it really allows us to target individuals very precisely and effectively. So if we want to go after a specific, like let's say pool builders, we can write ads that say, uh, you know, looking for a pool builder near you uh, 20 years experience call now for a free quote and we can put that ad inside the pool builder ad group and then we can use keywords like pool builders near me pool and pool builders pool building companies near me stuff like that that really allows us to target those specific keywords and i know that a lot of people out there will be like well that seems like a waste of time like can i just put pool installation for like you know a whole bunch of ad groups no one will really know the difference and it does make a massive difference because people will see a vague ad and they'll say like pool installation if they typed in pool builder but if they say pool builder exactly what they typed in they are a lot more likely to click on that ad because it is more specific to their problem and the more specific we can be to their problem the more likely they are to click on our ad the higher click-through rate is going to be the higher our quality score is going to be the lower our cost per click is going to be we're going to get more leads because of that and our account is going to be a lot more successful so really we want our ad groups and our campaigns to be as customized as possible towards our actual end customers that way we have the highest uh, customer experience and the best results in our Google Ads campaign that being said how do we actually go about choosing ad groups as long as the keywords are relevant to our ads so say our keywords say pool builders and our ads say uh, you know custom pool builders near you stuff like that as long as they're really relevant you can put that in the same ad group but if take for example we have pool contractors that real that ad copy doesn't really speak to pool contractors because if you put pool builders and someone types in pool contractors those are two different things so we really want to build that out in its own ad group so that's how you really come up with new ad groups if the keywords and the ad copy make sense so if you have one keyword and it pairs up well with the ad copy you can put them in the exact same ad group but if the ad group doesn't really make sense and i always use this as a stress test if i typed in a certain phrase and this ad popped up would i be okay with that and with our accounts i always make sure that is is the case i'm happy with the ad it really speaks to the customer's problem and that exact keyword now when it comes to actually segmenting out campaigns this, this could be a little bit different and really you have to go after services and if it's a big massive difference when it comes to a service like Pool installation is a big service and there's a lot of things in it. But if you're talking about pool products, so say like uh, chlorine or water heating or you know pool noodles, those are products, that's not the same thing as pool installation and that should have its own campaign. So you could just have you know pool services or pool products that could be in its own campaign and you can really segment that out, see what is gonna be more profitable for you because pool installation, that's a completely different profit margin as opposed to you know basic pro pool products. So I would give it its own campaign. Uh, if you were doing fencing for around pools or landscaping around pools, I would segment them out into their own campaigns as well, just because they're so different. But if you were having, let's say pool builders, pool contractors, pool installation, those can all go into the pool installation campaign because they're very, very similar and they all fall under the category of 
native pool installation. So coming back to our diagram here, as you could see, our campaign, we could label this as pool installation, and we could have our ad groups under here as, you know, vinyl pool installation, fiberglass pool installation, pool builders, pool contractors, all of that, and it'd be fine. And if we wanted another campaign such as pool products, we could have, you know, uh, water softening, water heaters, um, chlorine, uh, pool noodles, whatever it is, you could put those all under there. You could even segment them out into their own product categories when it comes to actually different campaigns. That's potential. I don't know how detailed you want to get with that. But when it comes to any different service, and it's a big difference in service, there's different profit margins, there's different revenue, uh, I would definitely recommend segmenting them out into their own campaign. Uh, this just makes life a whole bunch easier when it comes to actually looking at in what actually converts better, what is more profitable for the company. Because at the end of the day, all that matters is profit and how much money we can actually bring in the company. And chances are your company is really good at one or two things and then everything else is, you know, okay in. I would much rather double down on the things a company is great at, bring them as much revenue as possible, and then they can grow and maybe expand out if they choose to do so, uh, whatever it is. But most of the time they have one or two services which they love, they're really good at, and it's really high profit margins for them. And with having all these different campaigns and ad groups, you can easily go in, turn some off, turn some on, uh, and figure out which the winners and losers are, and then double down on the winners and make your campaign a whole bunch more successful. So take, for example, fiberglass pools, uh, our fiberglass pool installation is just doing absolutely phenomenally. We're getting super low cost per leads and the company we're working for absolutely loves it. Uh, we could double down on that. We could turn off all, you know, we could turn off other ad groups. We could turn off other campaigns. And the reason we can do this is because everything's segmented out. It's easy to understand. Anyone can come in here, understand it really easily. It doesn't take, you know, uh, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure this stuff out, but that's because we organized everything really early on in the campaign and it allows for easy optimization. If you don't do this, say you only have one ad group, you throw a hundred different keywords into it and they're all really different. It's going to be an absolute nightmare to optimize for this. And you're going to be stuck just uh, literally going in every single keyword, turning things on and off. And it's going to be a real pain and it's not going to be easy to optimize if you can optimize at all. Uh, because really, how are you going to optimize for keywords that aren't really relevant to the same ad? So you have to build this out and make it sure it's nice and organized. A few more things that I should talk about when it comes to campaign and ad groups. Ad groups really serve two major functions. One, holding the actual keywords and holding the actual ads. I don't really think having the extensions at this point are a really good idea. I think having your extensions at the campaign level is a really good idea. So if we come into our pool installation here and we click on our extensions, as you can see, all of our extensions are here. Uh, there are some scenarios where you could put your extension at the ad group level, though I don't think it's a great idea because you're going to become too minute and it's just going to draw so much time and attention away from the things you could be worrying about, like keywords, landing page optimization, improving your ads. There's just so much more you can be doing instead of actually going through all of that. And that applies too with the audience segments as well, looking at demographics. Uh, I'm sure there are certain circumstances where it could be changed at the ad group level, but I just don't really think it's a good idea to be changing at the ad group level because I think it's too minute and it really just wastes a lot of time for most campaigns. So I would leave all the audiences, the extensions, to the actual campaign level and then everything else when it comes to backyard pools, uh, ads, keywords, and landing pages, those are at the ad group level and I think that's a really good way to leave it. Also at the campaign level you have locations and ad schedule and devices. Uh, also advanced bid adjustments as well. I really think that should be at the campaign level as well. Uh, it just leaves everything nice. It's organized uh, and you can really alter things and easily optimize them as opposed to going into every single ad group and making sure uh, instead of changing one thing, you're changing like 37 ad groups uh, and you're spending an entire day just changing one minute detail. Maybe it's like updating a location or updating the ad schedule. It's just gonna take way too much time to do all that. And I really recommend changing it at the campaign level. So when it comes to most of these settings, location, ad schedule devices, advanced bid adjustment, uh, audiences and extensions, leave that at the campaign level. Everything else, keywords, landing page and ad, those can be at the ad group level. So that's the difference between ad groups and campaigns inside Google Ads. If you have any comments, questions or concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.